Hi, Mark Leapart here, continuing on with the Big Fix Foundation series. In this section, I will give a demo of using Big Fix to patch a Windows target. Let's get started. So here's the uh, patch overview dashboard, and we can see how many patches are needed for this environment. This is a very small uh, environment. Uh, we get to see uh, critical patches and important patches. And down here, we get to see in the lower left-hand quadrant uh, all the top 10 uh, patches that are here. Uh, so I can click on one of these patches, and this is the Adobe Flash Player. So I'll click on that, and that takes me into the patch. Uh, so you can read the important information about it. So you get to see what, what's in the Details tab excuse me, the description tab. If we look in the details tab, uh, now we see, uh, so the ID is uh, Big Fix's internal uh, tracking of the ID for this patch. It's for our site, uh, Patches for Windows. It's a security update. It addresses this CVE. It is 21.25 megabytes in size. Uh, source is Microsoft. And it is a critical patch. Uh, here's the KB number that uh, Microsoft references it. We look at the relevance. Um, we can see that uh, we're, again, we're pretty much looking for a Windows box. That's not a proxy agent. It's a 64-bit operating system. It's not Itanium. Uh, we're looking into this registry vert hive, and we're looking for the uh, uh, it starts with Win20 and uh, the major version of it. Uh, and the current version of it has to be 10. Uh, so we're looking in this particular registry hive. And next relevant statement, uh, we're looking for a Windows 2016 or Windows 20, and then a current version number again of 10. So it's very similar to Relevance 4, but we added in 2016. Uh, Relevance 6, uh, release ID. So now we're looking at uh, the current release of the operating system. So we're looking at a particular release ID of 1607. Uh, relevance, uh, seven, relevance statement number 7 is quite long. Uh, but suffice to say, we're looking for very specific information within, uh, again, the native registry. Our relevance eight, uh, we're looking to see if this particular client setting has been set. Um, so we're, we're expecting that to be false. Or uh, we're looking also here on a pending restart. So this is the SHA-1 of the patch. Uh, Big Fix will lay this down on an endpoint. Uh, so we have a tag or we know that, hey, this patch has been applied and we need to have a restart. So all those statements are true. This is the action that will be run. So the uh, Big Fix server will go and grab this file if nobody else has requested it. Uh, so we'll go straight to Microsoft or whoever the vendor is of the patch. We'll get it. Uh, we calculate the SHA-1, we calculate the SHA-2, we validate the size, and once that is done, and that, by by the way, that occurs on the Big Fix server, on the Big Fix relay, on the Big Fix endpoint. And we also validate that the uh, your action site.xafxm file is valid, and that you, the user that is running this, are authorized to take an action against this box. Uh, so then we'll run whatever Microsoft, in this example, whatever Microsoft is telling us to run on how you do the install. Um, so we go ahead and we do that. Uh, here's the tag that we lay down. And as a fixlet runs, um, uh, the difference between a fixlet and a task is that uh, once the fixlet runs and the action is run, Big Fix will go through all of these relevant statements again, and more than likely, relevant statement seven will now be false. And so we'll mark the uh, patch as uh, applied or fixed. Um, looking at the applicable computers tab, we see that it's applicable for my one computer. And I'm going to go ahead and take an action, and that's to initiate the deployment process. 
Um, I select my server. Uh, I can say, so the default execution is that it's going to run for 48 hours, um, waiting on that endpoint to uh, check in and say, hey, yeah, I want to do this. Uh, maybe uh, it's not online all the time. Uh, so you can change these all these values. Uh, you can change the behavior. Uh, if I say reapply this action, whenever it becomes relevant again, now it's becoming more of a uh, what we would call a policy. And you, this one is is limited to just three applications. You can turn that off, or you can turn this all off. Uh, users uh, typically in a server world we don't care because users typically are not logged on. But in the workstation world, that's a little different. Same thing with messages. Uh, you can display messages to the end user as something is occurring, as Big Fix is doing something. You can alert them that, hey, uh, you know, save your work. Uh, you can even allow them to cancel the action. You can set a deadline when you want the action to uh, occur. Um, you can show confirmation messages uh, before it's running, and you can also display a uh, message while the patch is being installed. So I'll go ahead and check these all off. I don't want that. Uh, you can make it an offer. Uh, typically, you don't make a patch an offer. Uh, there'd be something like a piece of software like Visio that not everybody needs. Uh, but you can you can make it an offer, and if you've installed the Big Fix self service application then end users can will get notified that they have this offer and then they can choose when they want to install it and it also closes that security loophole where they no longer need to be administrators of their workstations post action big fix uh, by default we're not going to do anything uh, you have to select this restart radio button and then decide how do you want the reboot to occur um, is it in a day? Is it in a minute? Is it in 30 days? Uh, so that is your call when you want to do that. Applicability is all that relevance smushed together into one big statement. Uh, success criteria is, is typically the appli applicability relevance evalu evaluates to false. And then the action script, uh, you get to see uh, this is the actual script that uh, will be run. So I have my target selected, I click OK, and this will send a UDP packet to the endpoint telling them, hey, you have some work to do. The endpoint will look at what work is there uh, and then start the process. I mean, it will look to see, do I have this patch in my cache? No. Uh, Big Fix Relay, do you have this patch in your cache? No. A big fix server do you have it no uh, so the big fix server goes out and gets it and you'll see it here where it's uh, it's downloaded it and it's cached it then it will uh, change the statuses will change and you'll see that it uh, the endpoint it will go to oh here it is pending downloads uh, or evaluating or running uh, fixed is uh, what we expect to see on a computer that we've applied this patch to. And as with most Windows patches, you've rebooted the box. Uh, this completes the quick overview of actually applying a big fix patch. Thank you.